His nine children, six sons and three daughters, grands and great-grands, were accompanied by relatives and friends to mark the occasion. The celebration came nine days after his official birthday, which was on New Year's Day, January 1st. However, it was pushed back to accommodate the arrival of all his children from England. Looking much younger than his age, Mr. Gay says he is grateful to the Lord for attaining this three-figure milestone. Well, I'm feeling great. Mm -hmm. Feeling great. Mm -hmm. I want to make a hundred years. Mm -hmm. So many will make a hundred years. Mm -hmm. And I make it with all my strength. I'm walking for myself, I'm changing my clothes, I'm going to have a bath, I'm brushing my teeth. I couldn't expect better than that. Nobody was feeding me, I'm feeding myself. January 1st also marked another significant day for the family, as it was exactly 58 years ago that he and his wife, Agnes, walked the aisle in holy matrimony. Mr. Gay was able to recall his childhood days at the Harvey Vale Government School, along with the period of time he lived in Aruba and England. He recalled fondly his working experiences on an oil ship which was fueling battleships during the 1939-1945 Second World War. When asked to disclose the secret of longevity, Mr. Gay shared this formula. Well, as a matter of fact, you, you, have, you have to be polite to the elders when you grow up, to the elders, you understand? Who mm -hmm. to the elders? Mm -hmm. Anything they ask you to do, mm -hmm. you, you run and do it for them and tell you thank you. The evening climax with the traditional distribution of maroon food in keeping with Karaku's culture. Richard Simon for GBN News.